Hi, I'm Courtney, and these are my animals. <laughs> oh, vicious. So it's currently April 2022 while I'm editing this video and filming this clip, but these original clips are from July of 2021 when we adopted Kenny. Um, I didn't really do a lot of talking or describing or anything like that because I still couldn't believe that I had successfully adopted him and I was still waiting for it to all be like a sick prank. Um, the reason that I adopted a dog when I did was because at the time Willie's CHF was getting worse, his symptoms were getting worse, he was on higher dosages of furosemide, he had been put on another medication, so on and so forth, and I was worried I was going to lose him and I didn't want to lose him without a dog to comfort me through that loss. And I had been looking for like... Hi, baby. <laughs> I had been looking for a dog for over a month by the time I found Kim. But on July 4th, Willie's birthday, we drove up to Minnesota to pick up Ken and finally adopted him. But before that, the day I had found him, I had sent a message to the rescue to ask if they adopted out of state or not, because there are a lot of rescues that don't, even when they have special needs dogs and they read my message almost instantly and then left me on read all day long until someone else adopted him. And then three days later, that family brought him back to the rescue and returned him like a shirt from Walmart um, because he's a puppy and was biting their toddler's diaper. That's a whole bunch of adults that should have known way, way, way better, but here we are, especially because the foster family knew that he was very, very bitey. He bit the shit out of me the day we met him. <laughs> um, but I still adopted him. I still love the hell out of him. Still did then. Um, it was a very long car drive up there. It was a very long drive back, but I'm still incredibly happy that we adopted Ken. I did set out specifically to adopt a special needs dog. Um, I had never heard of cerebellar hypoplasia until I read Kenny's bio on Petfinder, and I just knew that I needed the little dude, <laughs> especially when I saw the pictures of his knuckled over paws, and you'll see those in this video. But I just wanted to film a little intro here before I got into the clips. The first one is after we brought him home, after he got out of the car. He didn't walk a lot uh, when we first got him. He wasn't very good at walking at all. Again, he knuckled over very intensely and he fell over a lot. So that's what the very first clip is. It is immediately after we got home and immediately after we finally got out of the car. So let's dive into that and I'll film more video clips if I need to to explain stuff. But otherwise that's where we are and let's get into welcoming Kenny. What are you doing? I see you made a mess of yourself. What are you doing? Yeah, don't worry, I've already trapped him in there once and he immediately opened the door and came back out. As much as I love you, you are nasty. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Oop. Me too. Yes. I told her I was sorry. Good shake. What 
are you doing? You're doing so good. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> oh, good swim. Hold on. You having a good time? Yes, you broke eating grass. Whatever floats your boat. It's better than the cardboard you were trying to eat inside. What are you doing, Bilbo? <laughs> Goodness. Goodness, bud. Coffin. What are you doing? Just sniffing, I think. <laughs> you look so elegant. You can do it! You can do it! Good job! <laughs> Gonna have a little roll around on his back. I'm going to put the pictures of Kenny's calluses over this part while I'm talking, but the next clip is him trying to eat from his slow feeder bowl, which is because we tried that first before switching him to a normal bowl because the foster family was feeding him with a cat treat dispenser that he had to roll the ball around to knock little pieces of food out to try and chase and eat. Um, because when he ate out of a bowl, he would normally trip over it and spill food on the floor and they didn't like that. So they went with the cat treat dispenser. We thought the slow feeder bowl would help because maybe he was eating too fast and that was the problem, but it wasn't. It was just genuinely that he would spill food on the floor. So eventually we switched him to a normal bowl and he ate out of that wonderfully. There was no issue at all. Um, but that's why he's eating out of a slow feeder bowl at the beginning of this clip here. <laughs> It's like you know when I'm gonna record you, you always fall on your butt. Not back there, Bubby. <laughs> You're gonna have baby powder out over your feet. doing great.
Hello. What are you doing? Just hanging out? What are you doing? Being cute? In this foster home, they had one of those um, dog puzzle things. <laughs> I don't know if you heard him, but he just growled at it. Um, they had one of those dog puzzle things that you can put like treats in that he would chase around and knock food out of. But I just decided that a slow feeder bowl might work great because he, <laughs> otherwise he chases it around and scatters it everywhere but there's not a lot he can scatter here because it's not in one big space. So this low feeder bowl seems to be working really well and he can fit his face into all of those crevices. Um, but this way, he doesn't, oh! This way he doesn't have to chase it around to eat it. He just has to stand in one spot to eat it, which is good, he's good at standing. As long as he's not in grass, he tends to just lay down outside but he's very good at standing and walking around when he's inside on even carpet and tile. <laughs> he's just gonna do that for a little bit, so. <laughs> Careful, you're gonna knock that down on yourself. Yeah. He likes chewing on the plastic nibs um, of the bowl, <laughs> so he's having a good time. Um, I'm gonna let him continue having his fun, <laughs> and we'll go from there. Maybe he'll take a little nap. Who knows? I'll give him a couple of his toys too, so that he can switch between eating and playing. So that's what we'll do. What are you doing? 